Greetings, my name's Scott, and today we're in my basement because it got kind of cold today and our hedgehog decided that she wanted to try to hibernate. So we need to warm things up just a little bit to about 72 degrees. Right now it's just a little bit below 70. So I'm going to light the furnace because it's off right now. Rule number one, let somebody know what you're doing. Hey, honey. Yeah? I'm going to be lighting the furnace now. Okay. Careful. I will be. If you hear anything go boom, what do you do? I'll Thank you. Get a safe distance from the house first. All right. You'll need a couple things. Oh, my allergies, hedgehogs. Uh, a, a pair of forceps. And you can uh, get these at any, uh, I'm not sure where you get these. I've had these. They came with a science kit when I was a little kid. I've had them ever since. I pretty much use them exclusively for lighting the furnace now. All right, so the, the next thing that you need to do is you need to remove the cover from the furnace. I'm going to put this down. And this is the cover right here. And... Um, this more convenient there. We, there we go. I think you can sort of see what's going. All right. Oh no, you can't. I really need a third arm. I'm just going to do this with one hand. There we go, and up it goes onto the top of the furnace. And what are those you're asking? Well. Those are the instructions, and I'm going to follow them step by step. Because playing with explosive gas is dangerous. And if you do something wrong, you might get hurt. So be careful. And if at any stage of this you feel like things aren't going well or you smell something funny, turn off the gas, evacuate the area, and call somebody that knows what they're doing. You'll need a box of matches too. I like the wooden kind because they're easy to hold in the forceps and they're easy to light. They stay lit longer and generally speaking makes it easier. Alright, so Lighting instructions. Stop. Read the instructions. Read the safety information on the label. I've read all that many times. Set the thermostat to the lowest setting. I forgot to do that. Hey, Elaine. Yoo-hoo. Elaine. Set the thermostat to the lowest setting. They didn't hear me because they're not here. I have digital programmable. Hey, Elaine, can you set the thermostat up there to its lowest setting? And it's off. How much lower can it get than off? Or just turn it off if it's off already. I think that's what they mean by lowest setting. Just turn it off. Off is good. I'll leave it off. That should work. Hey, if it doesn't, we'll find out. This video is getting real long. I'm sorry. Okay. Buy this. I should have done this twice as a practice run or something, right? Ah. Turn off the electrical power to the appliance. Note the switch is in the OFF position. OFF is not an abbreviation. It's the word off. Alright, so where were we? Uh, depress control knob slightly and turn clockwise to off. It's there. I just looked down and I saw. 
If it's on, turn clockwise to pilot, then you press knob slightly, blah, 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 no, right. Five, wait 15 minutes to clear on the gas, if you just want to stop. Find, find pilot, two small one, turn turn counterclockwise to pilot. Okay, so basically what it's saying is that um, if the knob was on the on, then I would have had to have done those things. It wasn't in the on. Uh, it, it's also telling me that it cannot be turned from pilot to off unless it's depressed slightly. Don't use tools. Don't force anything. Uh, if I smell gas, which I don't, because it's already off, uh, remove the pilot access panel located under the gas control unit, which I believe is that fella right there. See? Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that or not. That whole thing just comes right off. See, I'm not sure how I did that. See? Could you see that or not? I think you can. Each side of this has a... And then you have to be careful. Don't hit any of these these fragile copper lines as you're, as you're coming out. This, this right here is the line... This is the thermal couple, I think. And here, this is the regulator. Right here, this is going to be what I have to turn to pilot when I'm ready to light it. Which I'm not just yet. Alright. Ah. Depress control depress control knob all the way in and hold. Alright, so turn knob, turn knob on gas control clockwise to pilot. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that. Pilot is not turning. There we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. I need a camera, man. Turn on the pilot. Depress control up all the way and hold in. Immediately light the pilot with a match. Continue to hold the control knob down for one minute after the pilot is lit and then release the knob and it will pop back up. Okay, and then replace the panel, turn the gas turn the gas control knob counterclockwise to on and then turn on electrical power to the appliance and then set the thermostat to the desired state. I like to read ahead when I'm reading instructions. It helps to know what the next few steps will be. It even helps to read all the directions and then read them again, step by step. Reading directions is smart. It'll keep you from getting blown up in your basement. All right, where was I? Matches. I'm going to get a couple matches because it might take a couple tries. Three. Hopefully it won't take three tries. Hopefully I'll get this done in one try. And I'm going to bring the box down here with me. And I've got four steps. And if I remember correctly... this set up right here to where you can see what I'm doing, which I don't know if you can or not. I don't want to melt my phone. Usually I can find a place to put the camera pretty quickly when I'm doing this. Uh, I want you to find out where this pilot goes. You can see where the pilot is. It's like right It's like right here. You follow this line right here. Um, it says pilot. You know that it says pilot right there? If you follow that line up, you'll see that it goes to where these two screws are and the pilot light's back in there, right above there somewhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and that and I'm thinking that you can probably see what's going on in here all right I'm putting the uh, the match into the the forceps like that nice and tightly and then I'm lighting the match 
holding the pilot light down. And there we go. One shot, one try. And I'm counting for one minute here. Uh, about 45 more seconds. And... <coughs> Oops. Oh, that sounds good. I heard a little noise there. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to release this a little early because this is a new thermal couple and I'm thinking that it's new enough that we won't need all that extra time for the thermal couple to engage and keep that valve open and there we go I released the valve this is the this is the button that I was holding right here this red button um, so I turned the pilot light and I had the red button held down and that's why I lit it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on here. If I can remember how it how it went. It went like this. I remember that the, the hole that you see here, I remember that that was on the left side. And it is in the area. Oh, there we go. And as you recall, the, uh, the last step was to, uh, da 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 now it pops up and release, turn clockwise to, oh, no, 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 if the gas will not stand, it, it, stayed, it stayed on. Uh, replace power access panel, turn gas control knob counterclockwise to on. That's the last step. And... There we go. And... I might get the matches. Put those away. So I can find them here in my vehicle again. And there we go. It's always a good idea also to uh put the tape on so you don't have to turn the key to ever come Boom, gets a nice if the furnace kicking on. I don't smell anything funny. It means everything's exhausting the way it should be. And oh yeah, have your furnace guy come by and check out your furnace once a year. My guy was here in April and he replaced a bunch of components in April of all times. Uh, couldn't wait until I had more money, like now. Um, you replaced a bunch of pieces, checked everything out, and it worked good in April. I'll probably have them come by in a couple more months just to make sure everything's still good and we don't need anything to replace. Because this, my friends, is a boiler, and it is very old, and most of these parts that you see have been replaced already. Alright, that's all I've got. Sorry that was such a long video. Uh, I hope you stuck with it, stuck through it, learned something. Uh, I'll be referring back to this video next year and maybe I'll make a new one next year and it'll be a little quicker and shorter and more to the point. Thanks!